Hi, welcome. So in this lecture, I'll talk about how to apply stash to a particular branch. So suppose you have changed quite a number of files and then you have stashed away all those changes on the master branch. Now for reasons whatsoever, you have decided that you want to move all those saved changes in the stash to a different branch. So you can always do that using git stash branch command. So let's see how it works with a working example. So in continuation with the earlier lecture, I will continue working with the demo stash repository. So let's check the contents of the directory and let's see whether we have any pending stash or not. So our stash is empty. Let's clear the screen and let's modify the file index.html. Let's modify the title here. So our title will be stash branch demo. So that's our simple change. We'll quit and save. Now I'll modify the 404.html and also add it to the index. So let's modify the font family over here. So it's sans serif now and I'll modify it to times new Roman. So that's our simple change for this particular file. We'll save and quit. And also I'll add 404.html to the index as well. So from the custom bash prompt, you can see there is both a star and plus, and this indicates we have modification in the working directory as well as changes have been added to the staging area. If you wish, you can either execute the git status command or git status with option S. Option S stands for abbreviated information. Press enter. So you can see here index.html is in modified state and 404.html have been added to the index. Now let's create a new file and let's name it new file 2.txt. Press enter. We'll just add a very simple line over here. This is the second new file in our stash example. Let's save and quit. Let's execute the git status command once again. And you can see we have three types of change. We have added the change to staging area for 404.html. Index.html is in modified stage in the working directory and we have an untracked file which is new file 2.txt and of course these two are tracked files let's clear the screen and if we execute the git status with das s option for abbreviated information then you can see we have three types of changes here now let's clear the screen and let's stash away our changes so let's execute the command git stash option u. Now we are using the option u because of the fact that we have both tracked and untracked file involved in our changes. So the option u will enable to stash both the changes for tracked as well as untracked file. Remember git stash without any option works by default only for tracked files. Press enter and here you go. Our stash is created and we can confirm this by using the git stash list command and we have a single stash on the stack. Now let's consider a scenario that for certain important reason I need to move away all these changes made in the master branch to a new branch. So this kind of situation often does arise during our daily workflow. So in order to move all the changes to a different branch, we need to execute the command git stash branch and let's name the new branch to which we want to move all our changes as demo branch. Press enter and here you go. So very carefully now notice the response of the git. Git does several important things 
in one go for executing this command git stash branch demo branch. So the first thing git does, it creates a new branch, demo branch, as you can see, the prompt appropriately changes to signify that. And not only it creates a new branch, it also switches to the new branch, demo branch. After that, git applies the stash and due to application of the stash, we are able to see the changes that we made in our working directory. And finally, after application of stash, git has dropped the stash as well, as you can see down below. So to summarize, the command git stash branch demo branch does four things in one go. It creates a branch, then it switches to the new branch, it applies the stash, and finally it drops the stash as well. So let's clear the screen. Now if you execute the command git stash list, you will see there is an empty stash since git doesn't provide any response. So let's add our changes to the staging area using git add dot command. So all the changes have been added to the staging area as you can see. Now let's commit our changes git commit dash am that will be an express commit. Our simple commit message is three files changed and we'll in short mention the name of the file index 404 and new file 2. Code is closed, press enter, commit is done. And now that the changes have been committed, we'll check out master and we'll also merge the demo branch. So git merge demo branch, press enter. And we have a successful fast forward merge over here, as you can see. And now that our branch have been merged, we don't need it any further. So we can remove the branch using git branch dash d demo branch. So the branch is deleted. And let's now execute the command git log dash dash one line dash dash decorate dash dash graph and dash dash all. So you can see the head points to master and the demo branch has been deleted. If we check all the branches using git branch, it will list all our local branches. So we still have the hotfix branch. So we can remove the hotfix branch using git branch dash d and git branch dash d hotfix will delete this branch. So well, the changes in the hotfix branch is yet to be merged. Hence, git doesn't allow us to delete it. However, it is quite possible to delete a branch even without merging as you can see using the dash uppercase d option. Now since this branch was created for demonstration, there is really no need to merge our changes. So let force delete the hotfix branch using uppercase d option, press enter and our branch is deleted. Let's clear the screen and let's re-execute our git log command with one line decorate graph and all options. Press enter. Now we have a pretty much flat commit history as you can see over here and all the branches have been deleted and head points to this commit ID. So with this, we conclude this lecture.